Welcome back, guys. Here is our lesson four on rounding decimals. So just to do a quick review of what we've learned so far, let me write a number, a decimal number, and make sure that we remember the place value. So over here on this side of the decimal is the whole number, so this is the ones place. Then our first decimal place value is the tenths, hundredths, thousandths. I always like to do that chant to remember tenths, hundredths, thousandths, tenths, hundredths, thousandths. And I want to make sure that we have a good understanding of where decimals fall on a number line. This can really help us with our rounding if we know a little bit about what is between whole numbers. So in between one and two, what do you think is the halfway mark? Okay, good job. It's 1.5. Okay, we can also, for our hundredths and thousandths place, since my example goes all the way to the thousandths, I can put zeros here. Okay, so five hundred thousandths, one and five hundred thousandths is the halfway mark. So where do you think our example would fall on the number line? Okay, good job, somewhere over here, so on this side. So then you just ask yourself, if we're rounding that number to the nearest whole number, you can ask yourself, is it closer to one whole or two whole? All right, good job, it's closer to two whole. So if I asked you to round to the nearest whole number, you would say two. Then what I do is I look at the number that I circled, in this case the hundredths place, so it's a nine there. That's going to tell us what we want to do with our rounding. So here's my chant that I like to say that helps me remember. Zero to four, stay on the floor. Five to nine, go up the line. And you can also do it as the song. Zero to four, stay on the floor. Five to nine, go up the line. And since it's a nine, it tells us to go up the line. And we're going to put a little up arrow above the five. And what comes after five tenths? You got it, six tenths, so it's going to be one and six tenths. Okay, now that we've rounded to the nearest whole number, what if I asked you to round to the nearest tenths place? Okay, so the first thing you want to do is underline the place I'm asking you to round. So the tenths place I'm going to underline. Okay, then I'm going to circle the place to the right, so the hundredths place in this case. Now I've got another illustrated math problem for you guys. Henry the Sloth is trying to think of ways to make some extra money. <gasps> He's got an idea! A taco truck would help him make lots of extra money. Now to make all that extra money, he's going to have to do a lot of planning and work. Let's see what he came up with. Hey, Howard. How do you like my Senior Sloth's Tacos menu? You know, Henry, I like it. It looks delicious. But I think your customers are going to like these prices better if they're rounded. Maybe to the nearest tenths place. Well, okay, Howard. I agree. But I think I need help from Mrs. Easley's students. Can you guys round these to the nearest tenths place? Now let's help Henry out by rounding these numbers to the nearest tenths place. 
So I'm going to start by underlining in my first money amount. I'm going to underline the tenths place. Okay, we've had some good practice with circling the place next to it to the right. So in this case, the hundredths. Then saying our chant, zero to four, stay on the floor. Five to nine, go up the line. And it's a seven right there. So I'm going to go up the line. And that's going to round to two dollars. And you got it right, 90 cents. Okay, let's do that with the rest. Great job on your work, guys. Now let's check back in with Henry and see how things are going. And I'll see you next time.